so I was online earlier, and usually I don't play Team Fortress 2 anymore to play Team Fortress 2. I actually use Team Fortress 2 as my soapbox, and every time I go on, I criticize the terrible mechanics and how gamers can do so much better, and occasionally it reaches out to someone, but not often. And this time, I was in a heated discussion with somebody else using purple colored uh, italics, I don't know why. So anyway, uh, just spewing ignorant shit this person. I don't even remember their name, but I was telling them that this is bullshit, the game itself, the mechanics that a lucky crit shot with bear claws is better than rockets to the face. So then someone else comes at me with, then why do you play the game? I'm like, well, I'm allowed to legitimately criticize a game's mechanics while playing it. In fact, the only way I'm going to be able to criticize the game's mechanics is if I explore them, which requires me to play them. Stupid ass. So, then they go, and then I go on to say how, uh, you know, especially when this company wrongfully deletes people's accounts that are paying customers. Let me show you something. See? I bought Team Fortress 2. Physical copy. You can't say, I didn't buy it. I didn't pirate it. I didn't, uh, hack it or anything. Just bought the game, minding my own business. I install it, uh, earned a lot of items that I could have traded for Steam currency, and now I can't because, for whatever reason, Valve decided to delete my account. Not delete it, lock it, whatever. Um, and the point is, I got screwed. And I did absolutely nothing wrong. Even if I were to do something wrong, it's none of their business. And that's what I wanted to illustrate. And they were defending them all different kinds of ways. They accused me of being a hacker anyway. If I knew how to hack that well, I would have dealt with them myself a long time ago, directly. Um, they were claiming that, uh, you know, that I must have did something. So I specifically told them the name what that something was. I mean, if you're going to go and claim that I deserve to be robbed of the game I fucking paid for, then you better have a damn good reason. And of course they didn't. Then they just reverted to, oh, it's, it's, it's their company, they can do what they want to. No, no they cannot. Because I bought the game expecting to be able to play it as I saw fit. If they're not willing to do that, then we don't need to be buying shit from them. We need to be robbing them. Not simply taking our business elsewhere. Because that's how these video game companies get away with this shit. Because they know we're passive-aggressive little fools who will take it up the asshole. And that's going to stop. So, you know, I told Gaben that I would continue to hurt his economy if this continued. I remember doing a video about this before, and I'm doing a new video about it now. The w way I look at it is the Team Fortress 2 money cash cow is perpetuated by this macro transaction system where you get drops, you get crates, people buy keys to unlock the crates, people buy items separately like baseball cards. Uh, it's like Magic the Gathering and a video game in one. And Magic the Gathering is a terrible game in and of itself. Combined with the corruption of a video game, it's a near unstoppable force. But there's one good way to put it into submission. And that is to go after the servers. I don't know exactly how to crash the entire Steam program. I'm not that fucking skilled. But what I do know how to do is individually crash individual servers. And so, by doing so, you can hamper, uh, you know, players. You can hamper individual players, and if they can't get to their favorite servers, they can't play their game. If they can't play their game, they're going to go play some other game. Or, alternatively, uh, they're just going to switch to a different server. But, the point is, it slows down transaction. It slows down purchasing stupid ass keys to unlock boxes and what the fuck ever. That's the whole point. You cannot directly take on this enemy by, you know, just brute force. It'd be impossible. 
but you can slow them down. You can make it harder on them, and that's the main thing here. Uh, you know, the fact that all I asked for was that justice be served. That I get my account back with compensation for lost time, lost effort, and lost money. Because I could have sold my items and things for, you know, whatever it's going for. Because I had a lot of items, I had hats, I had all this shit, and, you know, I might have wanted to give that up, because I personally don't give a fuck about hats and shit. I'm not an avatar fag. I prefer to think about the game itself. The, the objective of the game and the mechanics behind it. So if it isn't a gun, I don't care. And I thought I don't need a colorful version of the gun. Sometimes I like the colorful versions, but it is not necessary. Which is why I would have preferred to play beta server. Beta server is when uh, you get to play with all the variants of the unlocks that they had ideas of playtesting and they didn't quite make it. So essentially you get to play as if you were a playtester. Sounds good, right? It's good if you actually have a full account on Team Fortress 2. Which I used to have, but there was this gray area between when they made free to play and when I had my account and now don't and when you got your full account after free to play uh, beta installed itself or if you were like me and previously owned it so essentially they expect me to buy the game over again they expect me to go to the Saxton Hale microtransaction server thing and buy something in order to get a full account. Why should I? I had a full account. I bought the fucking game. I paid more money for it than probably anybody else that recently has gotten a full account. And yet not only do I not get the perks, but I'm treated as a leper. That is some bullshit and I expect reparations for that. And if I don't get reparations for that, well then I'm going to continue to crash TF2 servers until I do. It's that simple. It's that simple that if I will not be represented, if I will not be validated as a human being that you do not have the right to infringe upon, then I'm going to slow down your economy. I'm going to cost you money. The same way you fucking costed me money. That's it. If you think you can rob me, I'm going to make sure you don't get money. See, that's the difference here. I'm not robbing Valve. I'm merely stopping them from getting money. There's a big difference there because I'm not actually taking anything from Valve. I am only inhibiting their means of profit margin. But they literally took from me. They took my dignity. They took my self-respect. They took my uh, peace of mind. And they took my account. They took my money. They took everything. Why? What possible excuse could you have? And if it's that good of an excuse, why am I not entitled to knowing about it? Why didn't I get a fucking email or anything? So, see, I'm not going to take this bullshit that it's their company and they can do what they want to. Because clearly, if they can't explain themselves, if it can't be so cut and dry as to be right up there blatantly what would get your account locked or whatever, then you have no business doing it. You're criminal if you do. And to top it all off, even let's say if players were hacking, cheating, even pirating, it's not Steam's problem. It's not Valve's problem. It's not Valve's problem unless it's actually costing money. If they're uh, you know, hacking into people's accounts to get credit card information because people do buy games online through Steam and whose fault is that? Uh, yeah, then that's a problem. But you're not going to ban somebody over that because that would be stupid. Banning them is not going to solve anything. If they're that good at hacking, they'll find a way back and it's... That doesn't make any sense. You don't solve literal criminal activity with, you know, internet bans and shit. That, that, that's retarded. What they would do is they would call the authorities, the authorities would get involved, they would look into it, blah, blah, blah. So, you can't say that that's the reason. So then what you're left with is just, they feel entitled to being dicks. 
that because nobody makes a stink about it, nobody's willing to stand up for themselves, that Valve just thinks they can do whatever they want. And to some extent they can. It's not legal. It's not moral. It's just people are too cowardly to say otherwise. I don't think for one minute Valve has legal right to do this. I don't give a fuck what their fans say. I don't give a fuck what Stranger Danger say. I don't give a fuck even what those circle jerk lawyers say. I don't care. It's not legal. Because if it is, then why isn't it done in real life? Why isn't it done in real life when you buy something from the store and then they snatch it out of your hands and push you out the door and be like, well, it's my store. And blah, blah, blah. No, because if you did that, you would be accused of fraud. You would be accused of deceptive advertising. You would be accused of all sorts of things. So why is it magically different on the internet where nobody's held accountable, but yet every little guy has to look out constantly and kiss ass and suck dick or else he gets screwed over immediately. I refuse to believe that the whole internet is just one big wild west, but then conveniently when something does start to get real, oh, then the authorities have business getting involved. Like when we have this mass piracy and now uh, they want to pass anti-piracy bills like SOPA and ACTA. Not that I oppose SOPA and ACTA in principle, but the very fact that they care so much about these businesses losing money, but they don't care about the fact that businesses screw over their consumer base, you know? So that's what I'm talking about here. The internet does need severe regulation, but until it's regulated, it is up to us as the individuals to say no to injustice, to say no to criminal behavior. And these guys are criminals. They take from you, they rape you, they think they can do whatever they want to you. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to continue crashing their servers. I want you to see something. Hold on. I don't know how um, how good that's going to look, but as you can plainly see, I'm doing a good ping of death here for several servers. And I would estimate at about um, 200 players are very mad right now because these are all very popular servers and I bet they're all down right now and that's what Valve fucking gets for taking from me you took my fucking account for no good reason and like I said even if I did cheat or whatever it's none of your goddamn business because if I paid for the game you got your money and you don't intervene when these stupid moderators on individual servers think they can vote kick or ban me so what the fuck do you have to say about it? Nothing, that's what. You don't get a say in the matter. Because you didn't care when I was getting bullied by the individual server. Oh, all of a sudden then you weren't too big for your britches to go and intervene. Um, you know, and you obviously got your money. Or else I wouldn't have this physical back copy to hit you over the head with. So, so what's your excuse? You don't have an excuse. And I would love to a lot for your fans to stop trying to make excuses for you. They're not even really trying, I should say, because, you know, that's not an excuse. It's their company. That's just the unintelligent puke that they can only spew because they cannot admit that they love fascism, that they love rape. They love the idea of someone being a predator and taking advantage of someone weaker than them. They love to see that victimization. They love to see that homicide. They're sick. They're depraved. They like seeing other people be overpowered. There is no other explanation for it. Because why else would you let these people get away with it? You think it can't happen to you? Are you that fucking stupid? Do you not exist in the real world where if it can happen to them it can happen to you it's only a matter of time and what are you gonna do when it does happen to you all that money down the drain let's say your steam account has five games in it every single one of those games costed anywhere from ten dollars to fifty dollars so you're spending anywhere from fifty to like three hundred dollars in fucking games and it's just down the drain not only is the money 
that you invested down the drain, but so is the time, so is the energy, so is all the, the heated emotion, getting the achievements, doing this and that, all of that squandered just because Val feels entitled to it. And they're not entitled to it. Because as soon as they get their money, and since they're not letting caring about anything else and letting people bully each other and ban each other, how the fuck is it their problem? That's the main question here. How is it their problem? If it isn't their problem, then what gives them the right to do that? So, since nobody else has the, uh, the courage to answer that question, I'm going to answer that question for people. And the answer is, they don't have the right to do that, and it's going to stop. It's going to stop because I'm going to make it cost them so much money that they'll have to stop if they want to continue to be the multi-billion dollar monopoly that completely hegemonizes the PC market. If they want to continue to be the super highway of all PC gaming, they better learn to curb their fucking attitude and back the fuck off of the common man and stop telling us if we can or cannot have an account and, can, and mysteriously take away our account without any explanation no warning and the customer service sucks and never answers our questions and basically ignores us and Gabe and Nawell makes all these petty little speeches and says that he wants to make an Orwellian state where the bad people get charged more than the good people dictated by him who's good and bad and all this other bullshit it's gonna end I'm gonna make it end so that's really all I have to say the the speech was a little longer than I intended but it really pisses me off how little people care about their own lives about other people's lives and about morality in general this is not about whether or not I got banned that's what a lot of people don't seem to under, understand I'm not butt hurt because I got banned. I'm butt hurt because I could be banned. I'm butt hurt that they feel entitled to banning me. That's what makes me butt hurt. Not the banning in and of itself. It's the fact that people have that sort of audacity. It's the fact that people are just that inconsiderate. And it's the fact that so many others are willing to accept it and submit to that evil. That's what pisses me off. And it should piss you off too. So, I guess that's it.